Hello everybody, Double J 101 back again with another toy review and today we are going to take a look at another figure from Wave 2. This one is Autobot Tailgate. As we move forward to take a closer look at the packaging, we see he is Autobot Tailgate, which is one of the Legend class figures. This figure is a heavy repaint with a little bit of remold of the Legend class Wind Charger we received earlier in Wave 1. On the top, we have a very detailed picture of Tailgate in action, ready to go. On the side, we have the exact same picture of Tailgate. And on the back of the box, we have a picture of Tailgate in his robot mode, as well as his car mode. With a closer view of the package, we see how Tailgate interacts with the Prime Masters, which work the same if you had a Titan Master. You can just place it in there instead of the Prime Master. And as we get a closer look at his description, we have Autobot Tailgate. Drafts off other vehicles to reduce fuel use to near zero. Well, that's about it for Tailgate inside his package. Let's go ahead and get him open and into his vehicle mode. Now here we have Autobot Tailgate in his vehicle mode. Before we get into his transformation, let's take a quick look at what came in the package with him. So, of course, we have the instructions on how to transform Tailgate into his robot mode as well into his vehicle mode. We also include the collector's card for tailgate the amalgamous tailgate chooses the fastest form for every mission i do like this artwork it really emphasizes the look and feel that tailgate has now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the vehicle we have nice white and black paint throughout and some silver here on the front we have a very large autobot symbol on the hood and a little bit of a color change in the doors compared to the rest of the body paint this is a very vibrant white compared to the rest, which is a little bit of a duller white. I don't know how well that picks up in my camera, but there is a little bit of a difference. And on the back, we have a little bit of silver underneath the spoiler and just black tires. Nothing special there. Now, of course, as rolly things do, they roll and tailgate does a pretty good job at that. For comparison, let's go ahead and bring in his counterpart wind charger which is the exact same mold not much different here we we have more paint here on the front than wind charger has the autobot symbol on the hood is quite larger and actually in the middle of the hood otherwise the only difference between the two is the paint now i do have my cronus nearby so let's go ahead and see how they interact for this vehicle from the top you just go ahead and crack it back bring the top back which will reveal the cockpit of sort you take my Cronus, put him in a nice sitting motion, which then we take my Cronus and insert him inside the cockpit feet first, which should bring him down nicely, as so. And you are going to take the back and fold it back over, click it into place, massage, tailgate back to where he should be, and there you go. Now you really can't see my Cronus inside. There is a very small view to see inside of that window and my camera will just not pick it up. It is just too dark, but that is what you can do. Now let's go ahead and get Tailgate into his robot mode. Just as we did earlier, you just pull this back, get this out of the way. From the bottom, you can see Tailgate's face. You're going to push the hood back to let the arms become loose, as so. On the legs, you're gonna bring these down, fold the windshield back in the back of the legs, and disconnect. Up here on top, you're just going to take the hood, fold it backwards, which will sit nicely on the back of tailgate. And there you go, as simple as it can be. And there you go, as simple as it can be, tailgate in his robot mode. As for articulation for tailgate, it's the same as wind charger. We have rotation here at the shoulders, at the elbows, where you can make a nice motion this way. We have head turning no ball joint so it cannot go up and down we have knee articulation and articulation here at the thigh as for the paint detail on tailgate we have a nice silver paint here on the chest with black outlining here as well autobot symbol down here on the crotch area a nice scion blue throughout the body as for the head we have painted blue eyes as well as silver face mask and that is about it for his coloring now for comparison let's go ahead and bring wind charger in in his robot mode now the biggest difference between these two and the only real mold difference i can tell on either one of these figures is the face by far everything else seems about the same for the mold but as you can tell we're getting these nice and close now it looks like they use a completely different mold 
with Tailgate than they did with Wind Charger, which is really nice. I like it when they take that extra detail to at least change the face. Back in the day, I know there was a lot of figures where they just had the same face, just a different paint decal, which this is a nice update. Otherwise, between the two figures, we see that there is much more paint here on Tailgate on his chest. And just the Autobot symbol is much smaller for Tailgate compared to Wind Charger, but that's okay. The subtle differences are what I like. Now, as always, here on the right side, I will post a G1 comparison so you, so you can really take a look and see if this is the G1 accurate figure for you. For me, it looks very much how I would hope this figure would have looked, and I think it's going to fit very well in my collection. But that's about it for this video. If you liked, please like, subscribe if you haven't done so. Leave me a comment down below. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. And I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.